Hello everyone. Today we are going to see how to add radio buttons in Microsoft Word 2007. I have already done a version of the same tutorial in Microsoft Word 2003. And let's see how to do the same here in 2007. So to do that, you need something called the developer tab. If this tab is not visible, go to office button and all the way down here click on word options and in word options under popular make sure you put a tick mark right before show developer tab in the ribbon i've already done that so let's say okay and here you can see i have two questions and for these two questions we are going to add some options that is we are going to add some radio buttons so for the first question let's add some four radio buttons so under developer tab legacy tools select the option button then enter include three more option button two enter option button three option button four and for the next question again i'm going to include four more options option button five option button six option button seven and option button eight as you can see, we have uh, two questions and each question has four answers. So right now I'm going to exit the design mode and check out how it's working. So I have selected an option for the first question. And again, coming back to the second question, I'm trying to select an answer for that. But Word is allowing us to select only one option button at a time. We need an answer for this question and at the same time another answer for the second question. So to make that happen, let's again go to the design mode and let's start from option button one, right click on it and go to properties and I'm going to give something relevant to the first question. So let's make it um, caption as. The first question is what you would like to buy in near future. So let's say I'd like to buy a villa. Here in the group name, this is very, very important. Group name is the one which tells the word that all these four options here are mapped to the first question. So we'll be giving a group name which is relevant to the first question. You can give whatever you want. I'm going to give it as once. So I'm going to give the same group name to all the four options right here so that Microsoft Word will understand that all these four options are grouped under the name called wants and this wants name is mapped to the first question. The top in the properties window we have the drop down list. So there you can see whatever option buttons we have included inside our Word document gets listed here. So I'm going to select option button 2 and uh, in the group name, I'm going to give the same thing, wants. And in the caption, let's say private jet. And again, select option button three. I'm going to give it as yacht. And the group name as wants. Option button four, all of the above. And the group name again as wants. And going to the next question, option button five, I'm going to say Xbox 363. And group name, I'm going to give it as consoles. And option button six, again consoles. And the caption as PS3. Option button seven. V group name again consoles and option button 8 all of the above again the group name is consoles so let's check it once again the option button 6 I have the consoles group name okay everything is fine now let's close this exit the design mode and so right now as you can see Microsoft clearly understands that each question has its own answer uh, which is done using the group name 
it's as simple as that so after answering the questions we need something called reset button to clear the answers so let's go ahead and see how to do that let's go into the design mode again i can go back to the legacy tools and command button you click on that and i can right click on it and go to properties and give the caption as reset so after doing that i can right click on the command button and click on view code so it automatically by default gives the command button one click function so within this function we are going to include the following lines option button one dot value equal to false so i'm going to copy this really fast paste it and change to uh, these are nothing but names of the option buttons which we have included in our document right click on that and go to properties you can see the name is option button one so you can give whatever name you want but if you change this name make sure you put the same name here in the coding area i'm leaving it as default so it'd be quite easy for me so change the value again four i have totally eight option buttons so so i've included eight option buttons whose value will be set as false so by including these values this command button one underscore click function will reset all the values that is it will uncheck whatever values that you have selected that you have answered to each question so let's save this close it exit the design mode and let's check how this reset button is going to work when i click on reset yes you can see all the values which we have selected is cleared off so this is how you add radio buttons in microsoft word 2007 and also use a command button to clear the values which you have answered to each of the questions thanks for watching